electromechanical counting devices. When a device combines manual and electrical processes, it is called an electromechanical device. This is because there is an interaction between electrical and mechanical systems for such devices to function effectively. Therefore, electromechanical counting devices are counting devices that combine manual and electrical processes. However, the devices under this category are devices that use mechanical processes to perform arithmetic operations. They are so called because their operations are mechanized and their development inspired the modern day computer. The difference between mechanical and electromechanical counting devices include the following. Mechanical devices utilize complete manual operations. They are operated manually by moving some of their components, e.g. moving the bits in an abacus and bones in Napier's bones. Mechanical devices require manual computation of results. The movement of each component requires that the operator requires the operator to determine results based on positioning, e.g. the position of the center slide and the metal cursor in the slide rule. Computation error. Because results are manually determined, there is a high tendency of arriving at an error. An operator might misjudge a position and miscalculate a result, especially when not familiar with the operation and procedure of the device. In this tutorial, we shall discuss the following electromechanical counting devices. The Pascaline, the Leibniz calculator, the Jacquard loom and analytical engine. The Pascaline or Pascal's calculator. Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician, physicist, and philosopher. He is credited with the invention of the adding machine called Pascaline or Blaise Pascal machine. Blaise Pascal invented his adding machine in 1942 at the age of 18 to assist his father's auditing work. Pascal's father was a tax collector in Rouen and the machine relieved him of the tedious accounting work involved. The Pascaline had different versions beginning from the 5 dial version to the 10 dial version. He continued to improve the robustness and reliability of the machine on each version. Pascal machine consists of clogged wheels, gears, and dials. Accumulator and output window are also inclusive. Each wheel dial has number 0 to 9 within its conference, within its circumference. The output window displays the contents of the accumulator. The machine also has a mechanism that allows it to carry from one wheel to the next. The Pascaline is used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. However, it is called an adding machine because it uses repeated additions and subtractions to multiply and divide respectively. To perform subtraction, the number of the subtracted is converted to its complement, which is then added to the first. The Pascaline was designed to be used by accountants, scientists, and surveyors. Its mechanism of operation is still in use today. The machine had input, processing, and output devices. The Leibniz calculator. The Leibniz calculator was the first true calculator that performs the function of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The Leibniz calculating machine, also called the Leibniz wheel or stepped drum, was an improved version of the Pascaline. It was invented by a German polymath, mathematician, scientist, and philosopher called Gottfried. Wilhelm. 
von Leibniz in 1673. His invention came his invention came as an inspiration when he was working on adding automatic multiplication and division using the Pascaline. He thus invented the Leibniz rule. His calculating machine later became the first commercially produced mechanical calculator. Leibniz also refined the binary number system, which is the foundation of modern computing devices. He is therefore called the founder of computer science. The Leibniz machine used a wheel with teeth on them, termed the steeped wheel, which allowed long multiplication and division. The process of multiplication involved repeated addition and division involves repeated subtraction. The calculator made it easier and faster to perform basic arithmetic operations. Therefore, it is regarded as the first true calculator. The Jacquard Loom The Jacquard Loom is a mechanical device controlled by punch cards. It is, used to, it is used in the production of textiles with complex patterns. The device was developed by a Frenchman named Joseph Marie Jacquard in 1804. With the loom, you can produce fabrics with complicated woven patterns, such as tapestry, brocade, and damask. With the loom, complex patterns can be manufactured by unskilled workers within a fraction of the time it will take expert weavers to produce. The jacquard loom was an, improved, was an improvement on the punch card technology developed by Jacques de Vacusin's loom of 1745. Punch cards are used to control the actions of the loom by allowing the production of complex woven patterns. When punch cards are interchanged, it controls the weaving of any desired pattern to be made automatically. Hence, the punch cards are used to instruct the machine to perform automated tasks. With punch cards, a predefined and modifiable production pattern can be read and executed by the machine. Jacquard loom becomes the first mechanical device that uses instructions that is programming to produce an output. It also reveals that information can be extracted, stored, and imputed into a machine to produce a similar outcome. Thus, with the loom, it was discovered that the, pro that the program can be separate from the hardware. With this inspiration, Charles Babbage developed the analytical engine. The analytical engine. The analytical engine is a general purpose programmable mechanical device proposed and designed by Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage was an English mathematician and a professor at Trinity College, Cambridge, England. He conceived and proposed two mechanical machines, the difference engine and the analytical engine. The difference engine was a mechanical calculator that tabulates polynomial functions using Newton's method of divided differences. However, in 1833, Babbage could not continue the development of the machine due to lack of funds. The analytical engine was conceived in 1834 and was proposed to be a programmable multipurpose calculating machine. With the concept of Jacquard's loom, he designed a machine that could solve complex problems, though controlled through controlled programs. The analytical engine was designed to have four main parts which are used by modern day computer. The punch cards or readers were used to enter data into the machine. This becomes the modern day keyboard. The mail was used to perform the computations. This essentially translates to the processor. The store, where, the store was where numbers and computation results are kept. This translates to the computer memory. The output or the printer which gets out the results. The output could be in hard copy printouts or punch cards 
and stereotypes. This translates to the modern day printer. Babbage's designs were similar to the general design of a modern day computer. It includes a central arithmetic unit for calculating, called a mill, an area for returning numbers called a store, and methods for imputing and outputting. Unfortunately, Babbage could not complete could not completely build his proposed machine until he died in 1871. However, his idea and concept gave birth to the modern computer. He is therefore regarded as the father of the computer. While working on his analytical engine, Babbage began a correspondence with poet Lord Byron's daughter, Ada Lovelace. She developed the program for the analytical engine to compute a sequence of Bernoulli numbers. Her ideas of programming such as branching to perform decisions and repetitions earned her the first computer programmer. The programming language, ADA, is named after her. In conclusion, Electromechanical counting devices were an improvement to mechanical counting devices. In this tutorial, we discussed the four notable devices called the Pascaline, Leibniz calculator, jackal loom, and the analytical engine. Their development and continuous improvement in technology gave birth to the modern computing devices.